Hey there everybody, what's going on? Austin from Boss again, and today we're gonna show you how to hook up your Katana 50 to a computer and record yourself in a DAW. So I'm gonna use Ableton for this example, and what you'll need in order to do this is you're gonna need your laptop or your computer. Um, you're gonna need a handy dandy USB cord, um, which this one's a great uh, rolling USB cord. Uh, one end is gonna be your regular USB like you'd use for your phone, and then the other end of this cable to go into the Katana 50, it's gonna look like a little house or a little box on the front of it. So just to, just to make sure that you get the right cable. So we're gonna take the regular USB end and we're gonna plug it into the USB port on your laptop or your computer, okay? And then next we're gonna take the other end or the, the boxy or house part, and we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the USB port on the back of the Katana 50. All right, so now that we have the USB cable all hooked up, now we're gonna go into the computer and select a DAW. Today I'm gonna to be using Ableton, but also realize that the Katana 50 will also work with other major DAWs like Pro Tools and Logic and Ableton and all those other DAWs that are out there. So that's really, really great and awesome. So right now I'm gonna run Ableton. So I'm gonna click on Ableton Live. It'll launch Ableton. Okay, great. We're all opened up and stuff. So now uh, the DAW isn't going to know that the katana that you want to record the katana. So you have to tell the DAW that you want to record the katana. And in every DAW, you'll find this. You'll find a preference section, and then you'll find I/O settings, or what is called in and out settings. So we want to set those in and out settings and our our device to the katana 50. So in Ableton Live, you simply just scroll over to Live, click on Preferences and you basically make sure that the audio input and audio output device is set to Katana. Um, and make sure that you have the driver downloaded for the appropriate Katana that you own, so that way the computer can run uh, the Katana that way. And next what we're gonna do in Ableton, we're gonna hit this little record button here. And I'm gonna give a little check, check, one, two, and make sure that, uh, that it's recording right. All right, great, it's recording. We're gonna set that to auto so we can see everything. Awesome, great. So now we're all ready and set, so I'm ready to record. And now we're gonna hit stop on the recording. And then in, uh, in Ableton, you can switch and look at the waveform. And look at that, my waveform looks perfect and awesome. So now I've officially recorded my Katana amplifier guitar signal directly into my DAW recording program. So this is gonna be really, really great if you wanna file share with any of your bandmates, or let's say you're collaborating ideas with people, you can send sessions back and forth and use the Katana as your master input and output device, which is awesome. So once again, I'm Austin from Boss, here to show you how to uh, hook up your Katana 50 to a DAW program using USB. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.